It's an honor to meet you, sir. I'm glad you accepted my offer. I was a little surprised by it, sir. What is that? I still haven't figured out how to make a new paragraph on the computer when I write something. And I don't know how to forward an email. Don't you worry. You're just what I need. <laughs> what was that, sir? How are you enjoying Washington? Are you being treated well? Well, okay, except for some strange reason, the Republican National Committee arranged for me to escort Sarah Palin to the inauguration. Nothing strange about that. She somehow got it in her head that I was some sort of high-end hall boy, ordered especially for her. I've had to avoid her amorous advances ever. What's wrong with that? Governor Palin is a very beautiful and desirable woman, eh? <laughs> Are you sure you're all right, sir? It's nothing. I've just been busy making changes to the agenda for my administration. I noticed that, sir. Your message of change and hope has now become a continuation of the present administration's policies. There's nothing wrong with that. I've come to embrace the fine work of President Cheney. <laughs> You mean President Bush, don't you, sir? Dick Cheney is Vice President, right? Of course, of course. It's just that Dick Cheney is such a visionary, he deserves to be President. <laughs> Are you sure you're all right, sir? Yes, yes. Don't you have to pick out a corsage for that comely Sarah Palin or something? Ugh, that reminds me of my mission today. What is that? To expose the reason for all the strange goings on lately leading up to your screen in, sir. I see nothing strange. <laughs> of course not, since you are Dick Cheney disguised as Barack Obama. Yeah, I see my little disguise didn't fool you, David. Might as well take it off now anyway. This industrial strength girdle is killing me. Amazing! How could a paunchy senior citizen make himself look like a younger, tall, slender African-American? It's the first thing they teach you in evil supervillain school. How did you know it was me, David? Well, for one thing, you insisted that Lawrence Welk headline the inaugural ball. I thought that was all the kids were listening to these days. Eh. Another thing. At a demonstration of the latest Wi-Fi technology, you proclaimed it to be some sort of devilry and trap. I saw the hand of Satan in it for sure. And lastly, you replaced the respected nominee with the post of Treasury Secretary with a guy named Shiv McGurk, who said his main goal when he got to Washington was to get some. A man has to have a plan. Nevertheless, you won't stop me, David. Dick Cheney, you're so evil, all you're missing is a white cat. My hench cat, Nibbles, is at my undisclosed location, making sure the president-elect is comfortable and out of circulation. <laughs> That's some evil cat, but just how do you think you can overthrow the will of the people? Quite easily. Disguised as Barack Obama, I would enact policies that would throw the country into chaos. His popularity would plummet, then the little-noticed amendment to the Constitution I made would come into effect. Amendment to the Constitution? Yes, it states that when the President's poll numbers slip to single digits, he must be impeached. 
representative government is then dissolved and Dick Cheney becomes emperor for life. <laughs> when did all this happen? During a particularly engrossing season of Dancing with the Stars, Nibble spearheaded the ratification process. Wow, that is some evil cat. Your plan will never succeed. What makes you think you can stop me, David? For one thing, I've seen every Bond film at least 20 times. That includes the lousy ones like A View to a Kill. You know, that's the one where Roger Moore looks like he's 103 years old, and Bond girl was so dumb she got kicked off Charlie's Angels, where the only job qualification she had to have was to be able to jiggle. Also, I've been delays, so the authorities had enough time to rescue the president-elect. What? That's impossible. You would need the help of the president himself for something like that. I'm screwed. Yes, I would put it in terms that President Bush could understand. I told him that Scooby, Shaggy, and the gang were in trouble and needed his help. After that, he placed the FBI, the CIA, and Batman at my disposal. That boo! Former President Clinton offered his help, too. He said he would personally contact Wonder Woman and Xena Warrior Princess. You may have won this time, David, but I shall get even with you. <laughs> Adieu. Where did he go? Who knew there was a trap door in a five-star hotel? I didn't know a guy that had a hundred heart attacks could move so fast. Wonder what he meant about getting even. You don't suppose he has sent someone to deal with me? Who could it be? Odd job? Nibbles? Pussy galore? You got that right, honey lips. Sarah Palin? You're harder to hunt down than a bull moose, but hopefully you're just tasty. Well, I think I'll be going now. Got an inauguration to attend, you know? So long. The room has been hermetically sealed, and I have the only key, and it's in a place where I will enjoy you finding it again and again. Now you naughty tax spender, come to Mama and show me how they do it in the lower 48. James Bond never had to defuse a bomb this terrifying. I love it when you talk dirty. Uh, good luck, and Godspeed to Barack Obama, the 44th President of the United States.